that we have a 44-year-old farmer who develops abdominal cramps, drooling, tearing, and a slow heart rate after spraying insecticides. Which class of chemical is most likely responsible? Would you say it's A, hydrocarbons, B, cyanides, C, organophosphates, or D, heavy metals? So now this is a classic test question for toxicology. And if you're a student, you have to know this class. There's more than just insecticides that fall under this class. Insecticides, nerve agents, cholinergic toxidrome, and of course, these are all organophosphates. Now, the signs and symptoms are the buzzwords that we're always looking for. We th have to think of the mnemonics sludgem and dumbbells. So now with a cholinergic toxidrome, remember cholinergics, they dump a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine throughout your entire body. And depending on which receptor site this acetylcholine touches, it's going to cause a reaction. For example, if the acetylcholine reaches the receptor site of your pupils, your pupils are going to constrict. If it reaches the receptor sites in your lungs, it's gonna cause bronchoconstriction. If it reaches the receptor sites in your heart, it's gonna cause a parasympathetic response and cause bradycardia. So this acetylcholine is gonna cause a massive amount of signs and symptoms. And literally like any orifice that can leak fluid, it's going to. So you got to think urination, defecation, emesis, or vomiting, right? There's a lot that's going on with this patient. It's going to be a very terrible way to, uh, to die for sure. But remember, there are a couple antidotes or treatments that we can use. Now for anyone who's treating with ALS, yes, you can go ahead and maybe consider high dose atropine, two milligram increments, or maybe pralidoxamine, also known as Tupam. These two medications can also be given in a kit. It's usually called a Mark I kit or a duo dote. Let me know in the comments if your agency carries those. I'm just curious. But yeah, the answer here, C, organophosphates.